What is up my little punkies? Danny here with another video. Today's video is a dolls kill haul, a pretty good sized dolls kill haul. This is a few different orders I just put into one video because some of these orders I only bought like two or three things. I decided to wait until I had more pieces to just do one bigger haul. So that is today's video. My previous video, I had a little Dolls Kill controversy rant video that you should probably watch if you haven't watched it yet so you can get my thoughts on on the controversy that's surrounding Dolls Kill and why I am still purchasing from them despite the controversy. So if you're interested... If you're interested in knowing my thoughts on the controversy, then I will link above a in the eye um, the video for the Dolls Kill controversy rant video. And if you would like to see what I got in this haul, then keep on watching. <laughs> an idea of a future video I'd, I would still like to do pertaining to Dolls Kill. I recently came across a new YouTuber that I think is super cool and I recently subscribed to her channel. Her name is Jenny Kokcho, I think. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not, but she does these Dolls Kill mystery boxes as she calls them and I guess she has friends that randomly pick stuff off of her wish list and send it to her like completely as like she has no idea what they are sending and then she opens it up on her video which if you um, are new to my channel you'll know that like style mystery style boxes are like super my jam right now like I have one coming from Syzygy clothing that I will be doing a video on and I did the iGirl bundle and I plan on doing a few more style bundles because I think they're super awesome like it's like Christmas and that you don't know what you're getting it's just like super surprise so I thought it would be a cool idea to do one of these dolls kill mystery boxes so I don't have any friends that I can send my wish list to so if any of you my subscribers would like to purchase anything off of my wish list and send it to me as a video and I will you know definitely say who sent it to me I will link my wish list in the description box and if you want to send it to me I will my emails in the um, description as well you can send me an email and if you're interested and I will make sure you get a shipping address that you can ship it to so I think it's a super cool idea and I hope somebody out there is willing to do it I'm not asking you to buy everything on my wish list I have like a hundred things in there if it's one thing or like five or six things it's up to you whatever you want to buy me I just think it's cool to like randomly open a dolls kill box to and not know what you're getting so if anybody is interested in doing that then please send me an email and let me know that you're interested I am gonna start with a few accessories first I have like a bunch of accessories some I'm gonna wear with some of the outfits I purchased and some I it's just the accessories and I added some of my own clothes with so the first thing I got are these new fishnet pantyhose I because I bought this stuff so long ago I mean I literally bought stuff like maybe four months ago so I don't even know if any of this stuff is still available if it is I will pop it up on the screen here and how much I paid for it but these are just some blue fishnets and I am gonna wear it with I got this harness, I guess like this, I guess. It, I'll post a picture of what it's supposed to look like on 
and um, but this goes around your neck and it comes down and then this part goes around your waist but it's just the silvery um, metallic like holographic harness and I will show you how I styled these two pieces <music> Accessory, which is going to be hard to see in here, but it is this safety pin, septum, faux septum piercing. Um, I thought it was very like punk rock looking, so it you know just slides in your nose like that and looks like you have a safety pin through your nose. So I thought that was kind of cute, and it was only a few dollars. So I got that little accessory. I got this current mood slip dress that's a like zebra, black and white zebra print, but it's kind of like this soft like velvety material, but it's just like a little slip dress. And I got in a size small just for reference. So that's that. I'm going to wear that slip dress with this brown leopard print mesh top that has like a little mock turtleneck at the top and it's short sleeves. I don't have too many short sleeve mesh tops so I thought this was cute and again I think it is current mood. I got this in an extra small because that's all they had left but I already tried it on I do believe and it fit fine. It's very stretchy so no big deal with that one. We'll show you how I styled all three of those pieces. Back to another accessory that I got and I already wore some of the stuff in this video I've already worn because I got it like a while ago but I never did show it in a haul so I thought I'd just include it but you will have seen these in a couple different videos I've done but there are these heart spiked garters there's two of them but they just you know hook on to your thigh high pantyhose and they keep them up so I thought these were super cool and I will pop up how much I paid for these. And I'm gonna wear that with this little cropped tank top. I also already wore this. I wore it in my eye girl styling video. I will pop up an eye if you've not seen that video yet, but it's just like the satiny tank top. It has like this lace up detail in the front and it does adjust in the back kind of like a bra with these little clasps there. Just pretty basic black cropped tank top. And I will show you what that looks like.
Another accessory I got that I've also already worn a bunch of time are these fishnet um, thigh highs. I have regular fishnets, but these ones are thigh highs, so they are I can they can be worn with those heart garters that I showed you previously. But just pretty basic black fishnet thigh highs. I'm gonna wear it with this white. I don't know if you can see how like it's it's got it's like glittery but it's kind of hard to see in this lighting it's a white glittery bustier um, crop top it's got this little detail on the back that you can lace it up and I find this to not be very comfortable to wear because this is very like rough so underneath like your armpits it rubs and it's kind of not comfortable I also got this in a medium and it's a tad bit too big for me, but I felt like, because you can adjust it in the back here, that you'd be able to tighten it more, but I still find that it's a little bit too big. So but I'm gonna wear that with those thigh highs, and I'm gonna show you how that looks. The next few pieces I'm going to wear together also and the first thing is this bustier top which again I've already worn before in, in a couple different videos but it's super like has these little star studs on it and then it has regular studs and then these other little like I don't know what you would call those but the, it's very punk rock looking bustier but it's cropped also has the adjustable um, clasp in the back so that is this top and I'm going to wear I'm gonna wear it with this tool maxi skirt I also wore this already in another video um, this is from the brand called hot and delicious and a size small but it's just a sheer maxi tool skirt that has like, these little dots on it so it's i wore this in my festival lookbook again i will post an eye if you've not seen that video so you can see another way that i styled the skirt but i am going to style those two pieces together so let's take a look Next thing I got is this pink slip dress. It's got like this floral pattern on it with like these purple and like blue flowers and it's got like this little ruffle detail at the top and it's got kind of like sequins on the straps and it's got a little ruffle at the bottom. Just this cute little slip dress. And it is by Sugar Thrills. And I did get this in an extra small because that was all they had. But again, it fits. It's a little snug, but it's a slip dress. And I feel like slip dresses should be a little bit tight. So that is this. And let's see how I styled it.
last three pieces I'm going to wear together and I am going to pop up a picture of my inspiration for this outfit because it's called an LOL doll, LOL surprise doll. I don't know, I never heard of them before, but I always see them at Walmart in the kids um, toys section and they're these little dolls that like have crazy color hair and crazy outfits and I started following their Instagram page and I saw this like new doll that they were coming out with and I pretty much had some of the pieces already to create this outfit so I wanted to recreate this lol surprise doll look so the first thing is this neon yellow halter top that it came in a set these biker shorts they're just neon green. The brand is called Kaylee Collection, which I've bought from that, from that brand before, but these are size small, but it's a set. It's like a woven material, kind of like a sweater. You can kind of see it there. But it's just this little halter top and biker short set that I'm going to wear with the last thing, which again, I've already wore this in another video. I wore this in my Pride um, vlog and it is this, and if you didn't see the vlog, I'll post it up in the eye, but it's this pink vinyl overall skirt. And you can tell that I've worn it because it's all like wrinkled up and has all these like little dents and stuff in it. But you will see how I styled it and how it will look like the little LOL surprise doll. So let's take a look. everything I got again it was like at least three or four orders I put together over the past three or four months I understand dolls kill isn't for everybody and if you absolutely will not purchase from them because of their things that they're doing then that is your prerogative if you liked this video then give it a big thumbs up also comment down below which outfit you liked and any pieces that you liked the most. If you'd like to become one of my little punkies, then hit the little button down below. Please subscribe. It really helps my channel because if, you su if you're subscribed, it tells YouTube that you enjoy my videos and it will share it with more people that may not know I exist. So your subscription really helps. And your likes and your comments they all super are important to me that does it for this video so i appreciate you guys um tuning into my dolls kill haul and remember same as lame so embrace your weirdness and i will see you guys in my next video